King Leo triumphs over Queen Bee, Harry's joy at Messi's match. Prince Harry was brimming with excitement as he witnessed the soccer legend Lionel Messi lead Inter Miami to victory against Los Angeles Football Club on Sunday night. Just a few days earlier, on Friday night, the 38-year-old prince had appeared rather disinterested while attending a Beyoncé concert with Meghan Markle. However, on this Sunday evening, Harry couldn't contain his enthusiasm, playfully holding up an LAFC scarf and cheering on his local team from the stands at BMO Stadium. Although Meghan was also expected to attend the star-studded event, she seemingly chose not to appear. A pre-match list of notable attendees had initially included the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, although they were simply referred to as Prince Harry and Meghan Markle without their occupations. Harry was joined in the crowd by a slew of celebrities, including LAFC co-owner Will Ferrell, Leonardo DiCaprio, Owen Wilson, Selena Gomez, and Jason Sudeikis. David Beckham, co-owner of Inter Miami, was also spotted watching the match as his team continued to excel in Major League Soccer, MLS, since the arrival of Messi. Inter Miami triumphed in the game with a 3-1 victory, with goals from Facundo Farias, Jordi Alba, and Leonardo Campana. Messi, who earns a staggering $54 million annually, also contributed with two assists. Harry's excitement at the soccer match seemed to surpass his enthusiasm during the Beyoncé concert, even though he has always had a passion for sports. He shared in his memoir that he enjoyed participating in various sports during his school days at Eton, particularly rugby, which he described as therapeutic. The match on Sunday drew a massive crowd, all eager to witness the Argentine superstar Messi play his first game in Los Angeles. Messi had joined the Miami side in July and had significantly boosted their standings in the league, much to the delight of co-owner Beckham. Other notable figures seen supporting the home side included Owen Wilson and Mario Lopez, both donning LAFC attire. Jason Sudeikis, known for his role as soccer coach Ted Lasso in the popular Apple TV series, sported a bright orange hoodie. Selena Gomez was animated in the stands, while DiCaprio tried to maintain a low profile with a dark baseball cap and sunglasses. Victoria Beckham, who has frequently attended Inter Miami's games, and brought along celebrity friends such as Kim Kardashian, was notably absent on Sunday night. The Beckham family had gathered in England to celebrate their son Romeo's 21st birthday on September 1, although the exact location of the celebration remained undisclosed. David and Victoria Beckham's U.S. residence is a $24 million penthouse in the 1000 Museum building in Miami, which they purchased in 2020. David had moved to Los Angeles in 2007 to play for La Galaxy and subsequently launched his own team in 2014, naming it Inter Miami. Since Messi's arrival, Inter Miami has maintained an unbeaten record across all competitions, securing seven wins in League's Cup play, two of which were won on penalties, including the final against Nashville SC on August 19. The Herons have also claimed victory in a U.S. Open Cup match, and have posted a 1-2-0-1 record in MLS regular season play. This 10-match unbeaten run is a record for Inter Miami. Messi, in an Inter Miami uniform, has contributed 11 goals and 6 assists, though the team recently faced a goalless draw against Nashville SC due to the opponent's effective defense strategy. Inter Miami's head coach, Tata Martino, commented on the challenging match, stating, In the first half, the ball was moving too slowly. In the second, I think we did a little better, but it was hard for us. These games, as we all know, are a common occurrence, and I can empathize with the frustration that everyone feels. We too saw this as an opportune night to continue making progress. In their previous two encounters with LAFC, Inter Miami failed to find the back of the net. The first time Miami faced off against LAFC was in their inaugural MLS match in 2020, where they suffered a 1-0 defeat. Last season, Inter Miami endured a 2-0 loss to LAFC at their home ground. Prince Harry's recent visit to the stadium marked the end of a busy weekend, which began with his attendance at the Beyoncé concert. He is scheduled to fly to Dusseldorf, Germany, for this year's Invictus Games a sporting competition for wounded veterans. 
The event will take place in the German city from September 9 to 16, commencing just a day after the first anniversary of Queen Elizabeth E's passing. While Prince Harry is expected to be present for the entire duration of the Games, Meghan is anticipated to join him later on and participate in the closing ceremony before returning to the United States, according to close friend and confidant of the Sussexes, Almut Scoby. Reports suggest that Prince Harry will be in the UK to mark the anniversary of Queen Elizabeth's death, but he is not expected to join the rest of his family. His father, King Charles, will commemorate the occasion at Balmoral Castle, where the Queen passed away. Prior to his departure to Germany, Prince Harry will celebrate the accomplishments and resilience of seriously ill children and their families who are supported by the Well Child Charity. This event will be held in London on September 7. A spokesperson for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex stated, The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are delighted to attend the Invictus Games 2023 in Dusseldorf. The Duke will be present throughout the entirety of the Games and will be joined by the Duchess shortly after the Games commence. During the Invictus Games, Prince Harry is expected to deliver a closing speech, while Meghan will host the Life Story Scene segment, where she will explore the personal stories of some of the athletes competing in the Games. The royal couple will express admiration for the competitors' unwavering spirit and remarkable recovery journeys. Prince Harry has expressed his belief that this year's Invictus Games will be the best ever. Other notable figures scheduled to appear at the event include Frank Walter Steinmeier, the President of Germany, who previously hosted King Charles and Queen Elizabeth in March of this year. Dear friend, if you like everything new about the royal family and don't want to miss all the novelties, subscribe to our channel and like it. By doing so, you take part in our development. We work for you.